As you guys can see, I'm not the best. Best. Yeah, I'm not the best right now. Um. Uh, the last few weeks, um. Has been. Shitty. Um, extremely shitty. First, I was just, uh, stretched, stressed, um, by school. This was, like, a week or two ago. Um, it was fine. Nothing really major was going on. Um, everything was okay. Um, I, yeah. And then, my boyfriend, I didn't tell you guys about this, because, like, relationships and shit, but, um, the guy, Dane, remember him, <laughs> like, a few months ago or something, um, I said that I broke up with him. Hey, what do you know, a few months later we got back together, and, yeah. And that was a thing for quite a while until a few weeks ago. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you all of it because I respect him enough not to. Even though a lot of people, if they like knew what exactly he did, they're like, "Why are you giving him? Why are you so nice?" Um, I just. <laughs> The thing with me, I can never stop seeing the good in anyone. I just can't. It's it's like I physically and mentally can't hate someone. I always somehow my mind always like shows this other side like but hey this is here too, don't ignore it and I'm just like god fucking damn it. So, yeah, like, that that's a thing. And, um, okay, let's just say, like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put the setting. Let's just say brother was getting married and they decided to go to a bachelor party to Vegas one weekend. Um... You shouldn't- a lot of people are thinking, like, Vegas, there's probably a lot of shit he could have done. Yeah, this shit was kind of unex unexpected, even in Vegas. But anyway, um, I was very strict on, like, I, I really don't want you to do certain things. Um, and that scared- that, that scared me if he, like, did ever do something. He did- he did several, well, technically two things that I wasn't very okay with. Um, one is much more worse than the other, in my opinion, and probably to a lot of people. But, um, it just, like, he did this thing, and he told me like the one thing that like I appreciate about him he was always upfront about everything even though if he did something really shitty which he did and he told me and I just kind of sat on it for a week until the fucking wedding yeah I know actually two days um before the wedding the bachelor party was a week before the wedding so the weekend after the bachelor party was the wedding. So, um, he tells me on Sunday night. And I'm just kind of freaking out. My body is doing this weird thing. And then it's just... And then the next day I'm just sad. And, and the next few days I just, I sit on the information. At first I was just like, I'm, I'm not breaking up with him. Like, I'm not. Yeah, like, I was so, so, like, set on, like, I'm not breaking up with him, like, I can't, like, I, I physically, like, I can't do it. 
And then Care, um, Puppy kind of just started talking to me and started to talk like, is this, like, can you live with this and shit like that. And I just kind of made the choice. Um, and then I saw him two days before the wedding just to kind of, like, be, hey, like, let's not be awkward at the wedding and shit. And, um, after this happened. And... And then I ended up breaking up with him that day, and the whole breakup was actually kind of okay, better than I thought. It was it was both mutual. The thing he did, he just like that that wasn't the big part of it. What he did brought up a bunch of other shit that that we were just hiding um, from ourselves and. We just said, like, you know, we love each other, but this relationship isn't going to work long term. So we just kind of ended it. And at the wedding, it wasn't actually that bad. I was sick as shit, but it was okay. It wasn't that bad. It was just kind of like, we, we kind of used it as like, our last, like, goodbye. And I was okay between us. <sighs> but that's not the majority of my stress right now. The majority of my stress right now is fucking school. And school ending in my life completely next Wednesday. Also, finals. I, I really... And, and getting a job. And getting a job after school ends next Wednesday. And, yeah, I'm just, this is just getting to me, and I, I can't, I can't, like, focus on YouTube right now. I just, there's so much sh other shit on my plate that I'm just, that's, that's why there hasn't been, like, a video in, like, three weeks because all this shit is just like here Jessica deal with it deal with all the shit and just <sighs> I need a fucking vacation I told this to care uh, when the whole breakup like thing was ha first happening I just I, I said to her like I, I need, like, a fucking vacation. Like, even if it's just for the weekend, I need to, like, recharge. Because th this shit is just a lot more draining than what you would think. So, yeah. I'm just... As you can see, I'm in a very bad place right now. So, yeah, there's also the stress about my dad. You guys don't know about my dad in education, but you probably will later. Let's just say if I have or ever will fail a class, he loses his shit. And I know I failed a class this semester. So, that's what I have to look forward to. I'm just gonna 